wagering. It involves handicapping. It involves how to structure bets. You know, those two things really have to work together. That is one of the most fun mind games that so many tens of thousands enjoy every day, and we'd like to share more with you. Nelson Clemens and Am Wager present Popo's Post Parade. Handicapper Popo Morales tips the odds in your favor. When I'm handicapping a race, one of the first things I like to do um, is identify where the pace is coming from in the race. Um, I, I, I like to visually in my head play out the race how it looks on paper. So I'll go through the race, try to find my pace horses, horses that are going to go to the front, um, so that I get an idea or a story of how the race is supposed to be run based on what the past performances are telling me. Um, that being said, uh, horses aren't machines. Um, they are animals um, and they're not always going to run to how they should on paper, but I think it's essential one of the first things you do when handicapping a race is to identify the pace, uh, the pace of the race. Um, the second thing I like to look at is obviously um, speed figures um, and whether you're using the daily racing form or Brisnet, um, they all have their different speed figures. I always look at the last four speed figures because I'm lo what, what I do when I handicap a race is for each particular horse I look at its last four races and I call that a form cycle. Um, and I'm looking for an upward trajectory of speed figures. So I want to see, you know, if the horse ran an 80 in its, you know, first race, I want to see an 85 in its second race. And I want to I see progression. Um, that being said, I think it's important to look at, in those particular four races that you're looking at in its form cycle, look at the distances that it was running at. Was it running on the same distance? Is it running at the same distance um, today as it has in the past? Um, is the horse running on the turf for the first time? These are all things that you just have to constantly be aware of when, when you're handicapping a race. And then you have to take into account, um, you know, trainer statistics. Um, some, some particular trainers are better on turf than others. Some are particular uh, better going route races. Um, I look for jockeys. I, don't, I will not, uh, you know, jockeys are the controllers, the drivers of the horses. But um, most of these jockeys nowadays, when you, especially when you get into stake, at the stakes level, um, they're all capable, they're all competent. Um, the only time that I will, you know, that I'll pay especially attention to a jockey is if I see the jockey getting on a horse for a trainer that he's never ridden for. Um, most of these jockeys tend to stay with particular trainers. Um, so if I see a jockey getting on a horse for maybe a low percentage trainer or someone that he's never ridden before, that means that jockey or the jock agent has seen something in the morning that's caused him to, to want to be on that particular horse for the race. So that's an angle that I always I like to look with jockey assignments. Um, if they're riding for a new trainer or they're riding for what they call a lower, lower percentage trainer, um, that's always something to keep in mind. Because that, that jockey may have seen something in the mornings that, uh, that he told his agent or his agent told him that, that they need to be on that, that particular horse for, um, for this particular race. So um, I do factor jockeys in. I can't say enough about pedigree. Um, it, it requires a little more digging than the past performances are going to tell you, but if, if you come to understand pedigree, you'll know, um, you know what horses based on pedigree are, are, are going to be sprinters, what horses are going to be route horses, what particular horses are going to be better on turf. Um, that all comes from pedigree, and that's not something you're necessarily going to find in past performances, but as you handicap you know, hundreds, thousands of races, um, and you do your research, the, these are things you're, you'll just start to pick up naturally. To get the most from your online wagering, be sure to watch the rest of the Popo's Post Parade video series. Brought to you by Nelson Clemens and Am Wager.